when I when I go through most of this stuff, people are amazed. You know, boy, how come you can't remember these facts? You know, this is a you know fantastic point in your life, and uh, yeah, but you know, it's also a decade old now, and it's sure. hard to remember specifics here and there. Annoying boy. Annoying boy. Annoying boy. Keep in mind that I had just come from Los Alamos just a, a few or a couple of years before. That's true. Uh, where I had Q clearance, civilian, you know, top secret clearance. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, and they really didn't have to go and dig deep. DNA was. DNA was. DNA was. You know, it's ten years in jails and a ten thousand dollar fine. Does that sound familiar to you? you it must does. Have heard that before. It does. I, I've signed something like that before, but this was certainly far above and beyond that, which was kind of shocking, actually. Let me up, yeah. Let me up, yeah. Let me up, yeah. But you can kind of tell military guys. Yeah, just by the way they look. And and the way they comport themselves and so forth and so on. But, you know, again, that's this is my guesstimation of what sure. what this guy was about. So friend of Shambit fake me opposite. So friend of Shambit fake me opposite. So friend of Shambit fake me opposite. You know, uh but he yeah, had no, no the prior kidney or problem. something. Yeah, I mean it is, you know. Well, I take it you went to the doctor. Did any lie? Did any lie? Did any lie? Um, my immediate reaction was, "This is the new generation fighter that we're working on," uh, for whatever reason. It's saucer shaped, but uh, immediately in my mind, I said, "This explains all the UFO sightings throughout history. It's just been the development of this thing." Here it is. The right saucer. here it is. It's made the life in the position here. The life in the position here. The life in the position here. I don't remember the people involved there, but when they were talking about the movie, the making of the movie, so on and so forth, the uh, lab technician there, mission get bail, mission get bail, mission get bail. Meaning you couldn't even touch it. No, I couldn't touch it. However, I did get, uh, I did get to go on the craft uh, one time, and this was for the express purpose of only seeing the placement of the reactor and how the the gravity amplifiers worked, uh, how the emitters moved freely underneath on the the primary level, and not the internalier, and not the internalier, and not the internalier. And if you notice, Art, uh, if you're looking at the, the model of the, of the sport model there, out near the equator of the disc, I mean, it literally comes to a, to a point, and, and it graduates as you go towards the center. So, obviously, the, right, the ceiling is very be. low near the If you always doubt in it. If you always doubt in it. If you always doubt in it. something to do with the waveguide and the gravity amplifiers themselves. But uh, if you have the box there you're looking at, you notice what I'm saying is kind of difficult. There's a little booklet that came in there that has a nice cutaway view of the craft, but it's, um, it's very difficult to describe.
Her in the meat get the cook. Her in the meat get the cook. Her in the meat get the cook. You know, this is basically how the amplifiers were aimed. Ah. Was very, um, and the craft had, again, it's kind of a lengthy explanation, but there were two different modes the craft. Her with them. Her with them. Her with them. The other mode is the delta configuration, and this is how it normally travels through space and makes large jumps. As I've stated before, you know, to most people this sounds like wild science fiction. However, we know most of these things are possible. Perhaps not before you fell asleep, but... Uh... Well, we did make some coffee here. I was... <laughs> I detected I started rambling and not saying anything, so hopefully this... Are you fuck my scam? Did you want... Are you fuck my scam? Did you want... Are you fuck my scam? Did you want... Initially, our work started on the reactor. Uh, we figured that's the center point of everything, and this is where we should really concentrate our efforts, and apparently that's what the people before me did, too. Talking about static on the phone yes. a few minutes ago. Yes. Um, Gustin and we say. Gustin and we say. Gustin and we say.